You might have heard the saying, a lie is a lie is a lie, but are you able to detect when you're being lied to? Well, joining us today is body language expert Leo Cardenas to tell us how to do that. Thanks again for being here. Hello. Uh, Okay, so if I think somebody's lying to me, do people have certain physical things they do that can tip me off? There's a few things that can tell you they're nervous about the questions that you're asking, but the brain itself hates to lie. There's really no silver bullet that you can say that person is lying. But you can actually analyze and maybe cluster a, certain, a few things to tell whether they might be really fibbing a little bit more than normal. Okay, well you always hear there's, you know, there's old school things like people put their hands in their pocket if they're lying, or maybe they'll look to the lower right if they're lying <laughs> when they say something. So you're saying those aren't dependable? Actually, especially the eye part, a yeah. lot of people say if you look left, you're lying, if you look right, you're lying. There's no actual way to tell that. In fact, liars will look at you more in the eye than people that are not lying to uh -huh. you. So what I do, what I call, do is to call baselining, and it's trying to establish what people People look normally when they're not lying, when they're talk, talking about a regular story, for example. And then if they deviate, that's what tells me something might be wrong. So does that mean it's easier with somebody you've been around for a long period of time because you know how they behave, and then when they do something out of character, does that immediately mean, aha? Actually, with people that you're close to, it's a lot harder to tell that they're lying. Okay. So it's kind of like a bias there. So it's a lot easier for me to tell that Layla, for example, is lying because I don't know her that well uh -huh. than somebody that I'm actually seeing on a regular basis. Ah. So it's a lot harder to tell that way. Okay, so what should we do to try to insulate ourselves from people who are lying to us? How do we spot that? Well, there's what well, we're going to look is for the cluster. So we're going to look at uh, whether or not they're touching their face too much, whether they're, they're anxious, and you can tell by their okay. self-soothing motions. They touch their neck, they touch the back of their, their ah, neck. Okay. Uh, uh, the wrist as well. So we're looking at those kind of things. And again, the brain hates to lie, so it'll it'll leak some of this information out <laughs> by micro expressions or by maybe uh, showing a little bit of surprise in the face as soon as we tell a lie. So. Oh, okay. So, so, but you always hear about people who are, you know, they say like somebody's a sociopath or they're a psychopath and they love to lie. Is that true? Are there certain people who do like to do that? There are some people that are really like sociopaths. You really can't tell that they're lying. I mean, okay. that's a brain thing but people that normally lie it's it's easier for them so what I do in my workshops for example I'll tell people to tell me a story backwards ah because people practice a story one way uh -huh. and then I tell, tell them tell me a story backwards and you see that they get all confused and they can't even figure it out that's so when they make a step up that's how you can find it <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> thank Leo, you very thank much you Oliver. I appreciate that's it. how you tell somebody's lying Layla I'm on to you well I'm bringing Layla to my next date <laughs> <laughs> well a five-year-old girl